Hey guys, Blazin here. Welcome to my analysis on the Plaza Pistol. This Plaza Pistol is made by Iru Iru Armory. You know them. However, this model was made under a contract by the Banished. This Plaza Pistol was designed and commissioned by Let Valir's request. The model does respect previous designs, but with slight improvements to durability and a native link capability. Features of this gun include the classic heat meter and power button at the rear, the top portion that lifts up to vent the heat. Something new about this model is that there's now a button here and that is ambidextrous and it's meant to vent the heat manually. Also something I feel compelled to point out is that the foregrip has a small indentation to rest your index finger, and overall, the gun looks pretty comfortable to hold compared to previous models. This model also unfortunately lost its hollow sight. A downgrade from the last iteration of this gun, but at least it has a native link system. The plaza pistol can fire about 19 shots out before it overheats. I got this number by firing as fast as I can. The reserve energy is 100%, and each shot takes 1% of the battery for the most part. The charge up shot takes about 7% of the battery. The fire rate I got was around 450 rounds per minute. Cooldown speed was around 1.48 seconds. The tactical cooldown speed kind of varies because you can vent the heat yourself now. And this gun is pretty good at cooling itself down anyways. Max effective range is 45.9 meters and the max effective range zooming in is 64.2 meters. Damage output is 5 shots to break shield and 11 shots to health, totaling a 16 shot kill. or 5 shots to break shield and 4 shots to the head for a 9 shot kill. Body shot TTK is around 2 seconds. Headshot TTK is around 1.12 seconds. As for the charge shot stats, it takes one shot to break shields and two shots to health for a three shot kill. <laughs> or one shot to break shields and one shot to the head for a two shot kill. Overall, my thoughts on the Plaza Pistol is that it's in a weird place. I'm not sure what to do with it other than maybe increase its lethality. I feel like the Plaza Pistol and Disruptor kind of fight each other for a place in the sandbox. In competitive play, it serves its purpose just fine. In BTB, however, it fails to serve a purpose as it's lost its EMP capability and that was given to a few other shock weapons in the sandbox. The Plaza Pistol also has very little pickup value in 4v4 social play. It's still usable in 4v4 social play, it's just that there isn't too much value to be gained if you decide to replace your assault rifle or sidekick. Along with the solutions you see on screen, I think the Plaza Pistol should stay in 4v4 environments only, while the Disruptor should be in the BTB exclusive weapon only, as I think the Disruptor will shine brightest there. And those are my thoughts on the Plaza Pistol and more I thought I'd share. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and share this video around. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content on this channel and let me know your thoughts on the Plaza Pistol in the comments below. And until next time, peace.